again, guys. Nice to see you. Uh, I'm um, working my way through Philippians 4 again. Having a pretty good day today. Um, yesterday I did get out for a little bit of a walk and a bike ride, so that was cool. And I heard from a couple of friends, so that was really a lot of, uh, very, very nice and gave me a lot of um, hope and in inspiration to meet with my um, life group from my church back in uh, Tonawanda. So that was kind of cool, being down here in Florida and, and being able to be online with, you know, two or three, yeah, three other couples from Tonawanda. So that was, that was really neat. And we did a little Bible study together. So, but I'm still working in my personal Bible study, still on Philippians 4. It is one of my favorite chapters. And so uh, I, I'm, I'm right now in verse 8, and it kind of stopped me in my tracks today. And it reminded me of something um, when my daughter Megan was very small, she used to sometimes, as kids do, she couldn't get to sleep. You know, she'd have nightmares or she'd think there was a monster under the bed or whatever. And uh, one night I, I read her this verse and I said, you know, you're not really supposed to be thinking about all that stuff. You're really supposed to think about what God wants you to think about. So this verse, Philippians 4, 8 says, and now dear brothers and sisters, one final thing, fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise and keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me, everything you heard from me and saw me doing, then the God of peace will be with you. So sometimes uh, we tend to think that our thoughts are, um, we can't control them and, do, and things do come into your mind. But there are some things that you can really concentrate on and do a little meditation today. And so that's what I did. I took this verse and I just meditated and thanked God for the different things that are mentioned in here. For example, uh, he says, think about something that's true. God's love is true. My love for my children is true. Uh, my love for my sisters, my mother's love, my father's love. Uh, all these things are so true. The, the love I have for my husband. Um, just just there's truth there you know there's honesty and truth and that's a wonderful thing to kind of meditate on and then thank God for so the second one is what is honorable a lot of things are honorable right now a lot of a lot of things going on that it um, are really great you know um, it's very honorable for people to uh, care about the community and stay home it's honorable for people to to try to educate their kids at home when they can't get uh, to school it's very honorable for us to try to keep God's commandments. Uh, that's an honorable thing. Anytime that we've been able to see somebody who's been um, able to, to control themselves and, and to be what God wants them to be, to be examples. We, we see a lot of honorable things uh, in our, our people at church, our church workers right now, who are trying so hard with online things and all kinds of things like that. You know, it, it's so honorable for them to still care about their their believers, their, their other people in their church because they want to reach out in any way they can. It's very honorable that um, that we do these things. And the second, or third one here is whatever is right. And it's right for us to reach out and love to other people. Even when we can't leave our house, we can, leave, we can be, do the right thing by giving money to um, our church fund for care and concern or our... Um, our missions things because those people are struggling too or some of the food pantries that are really being stretched right now that's the right thing to do it's the right thing to do um, I know in Megan's church as soon as they found out that we were going to be sh sheltering and whatever they you know they reached out to their community and said we're here to help what can we do can we bring you some food can we um, buy you some groceries can we um, give you some direction of where you can go for a test you know those kinds of things that that are so right to do. Uh, the next one is pure. We don't see much purity in our life right now because we live in a very sinful world. When we think of God, we think of purity. When we think of the work of the Holy Spirit, I think of purity. Uh, but there's also some, some pure things. Um, you know, a newborn baby's face is so pure, so pure. Uh, the, the, even some of you that have animals, you know, the the comfort and love that a dog or, or a cat can give you sometimes is just pure. It's just pure love, you know. Um, there's so much pure beauty in the world as well. 
Um, and that's the next thing is lovely. Think about something lovely. When I was going through a very tough time in my life, I used to buy flowers and put them on my desk at work. And a couple of my friends say, oh, Karen, who sent you flowers, you know? And I said, I sent them to myself. And they said, what? I, I said, well, I wanted to remind myself that there is beauty in the world. Things are lovely. There are lovely things. There's lovely music. There's lovely flowers. There's lovely gardens. There's lovely sky. Um, you know, even if you're in a snowy climate, there are lovely things in the world. You know, a, a beautiful snowflake, a rainbow, um, just the changing of the seasons and the warmth of the air and the smell of, you know, the newborn trees that are coming out, you know, that are budding. Um, there's just so much lovely in God's world that we can be thankful for and that we can concentrate on. Um, so that's something I was thinking of today. How about something admirable? I think it's so admirable to think that uh, some of our people that are working in, in churches are, are reaching out the way they are. For example, my minister down here in Florida does a daily devotion every single day online, and you can tune in to YouTube. It's just five, ten minutes. So great. It's admirable that Sue Stege from my church in North Tonawanda meets with the children at night and says goodnight to them while she's there with her dog, Zami. Uh, that's so admirable. I think it's very admirable how uh, so many of our health power workers are just going in and serving right now. They're calling up from retirement people who were nurses and doctors and have retired because we need them so badly. It's admirable what these people are doing. It's admirable what our our grocery store people are doing, staying open, and our delivery people, and our truck drivers, it's, it's admirable how they're trying to help out. And they're staying in their jobs, despite the fact that they might be exposed more so than I am, because I'm staying at home. So that I think those things are very admirable. Um, think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Certainly God is worthy of our praise. Very worthy of our praise. And if we just think about that as enough to thank God for, but things that are excellent. Um, Yo-Yo Ma got online and did just gorgeous music. Um, Melissa Etheridge has been doing gorgeous music. Uh, Michael Buble, uh, Josh Groban, all kinds of people are doing these excellent things to try to like lift our spirits and just be there for us. That's so excellent. It's something we can actually meditate on. Um, and these are things that are worthy of praise, but especially our God is worthy of praise. And uh, I would just encourage you to spend some time today with this verse, Philippians 4, 8. Take each one of those words and kind of in your mind, thank God for the things that are um, admirable, lovely, pure, right, honorable, excellent, worthy of praise, and true. Let's think about those things. What a great thing to meditate on today. Have a great day, and God bless.